you you may say that I'm a dreamer but I'm not the only one I hope someday you'll join us so the world could live as one Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, y'all. Welcome to this place that I call the Mental House. With me, your host, Khadija. And I call it the Mental House for those of y'all who don't know why. It's because I don't know if y'all is feeling this or not. But it's crazy out here. Okay, and I choose... To come in here to get away from the mentals without walls. Okay? So we the mental house and we deal with our mentals upstairs, right? Because I'm starting to see now that we're, I'm beginning to feel, I should say, that we are a nation that is totally going mental. We've gone mad. All the evil and mayhem and disenfranchisement, all the has affected everybody that inhabits this place. Okay? And so whether it takes the form of colonization, whether it takes the place of just hate on hate, you can find your variety right here, right here in this mental house called America. Anyway, I want to talk about this for a minute because it really bothered me and really disturbed me, and that is the jealousy that y'all got for my brother Shannon Sharp. Y'all are so jealous. <laughs> Oh, y'all so jealous because y'all y'all didn't see this meteor coming out of nowhere. You thought he was done when Squ- Skip, Skip, when Skip bust him out, thought he was done. But I kind of like how Shannon owned his behavior at the Lakers game. I really admired that. Because, see, what you got now on the planet is a bunch of people who deal in lies, smoking mirrors. And so those up out here that are truth tellers and truth seekers, we are all made to feel in the minority or that something is wrong with us because we ain't having it. Sometimes it seems like we're extremely disgruntled when we not. We just letting you know what it is, and we can't let it go until you acknowledge that's what it is. Yeah. Sometimes we don't never get acknowledged. But at the end of the day, when you start lying on people or when you start uh, doing things that are in direct upliftment of somebody for no apparent reason other than you jealous, then somebody got to call you out. Your mentals is showing. Your slip is hanging. That's how I feel about Mike Epps. I feel like his slip is hanging. I believe he's jealous of Shannon. I believe there's a lot of them out there that are jealous that he's taking um, the internet by storm. Uh, And that includes his boss, Stephen A. Smith. Uh, And so what happens is you want to attack his guests. Um, say he's for the mess, uh, he's gay, and, and if he is, so fucking what? If he is gay, if he was, so what? What do I got to do with the price of butter? Y'all some, you know what, and I think that that's just a distraction. That's a distraction, because you can't do nothing about the real enemy. 
So you tear your whole own house down, tear your kids down, tear your mama down, tear your sister. You do that because you got no power, no place else. So now y'all want to all come down on uh, Shannon, um, especially those of y'all who have been outed by uh, Cat Williams because he has a successful show. Well, I hope he keep going. I wish him nothing but the best. Uh, I used to watch his brother Sterling when he played for the Packers until he broke his neck. I love the Sharp brothers. And if I didn't, I would now. <laughs> uh, I, I I just find it real disheartening that y'all slip is showing when it comes to Shannon Sharp. He ain't did nothing to y'all. So now y'all pissed at him uh, for the guests he had, but you ain't pissed at Vlad for all the uh, suckers that run over there? But you mad at Sh uh, Uncle Shay Shay? Well, let me tell you something. Y'all so sick. It, it, <laughs> Listen, if you like what you hear, subscribe, share the channel, like the channel, and um, so we can keep on going in these algorithms. I see uh, it's slow moving over here. So I just want to encourage you, and I want to thank y'all who do listen to the commercials, the ads, those of y'all who do stick around, those who donate to the channel, those who don't. When you watch an ad, you're donating to the channel, and I appreciate it. When you comment, when you give me a thumbs up, a like, I appreciate it because all that helps. Because nobody want to hear the truth. They disheart you. They'd rather hear nothing but celebrity junk and celebrity gossip. you know. But when you talk that real shit, nobody wants to hear you. So anyway, excuse my language. I like for y'all to just think about it. What has Shannon done to these people now? For them to come at him like this because of his because his internet uh, his interviews have broke the internet. Think that's what it is? I think so. Let me know what you think though. If you like what you hear, subscribe and share the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.